soft fingers have the sort of adaptive ability to curl around an item, pick up items in many different shapes, and it's also able to do that in a much, much simpler construction. So people have made adaptive grippers, you know, inspired by the human hand, but typically these are complex assemblies of parts, which then also make them things that can fail easily and need repair, and also make them very expensive to build. So what we're doing is taking very, very standard large volume manufacturing methods and using them to build grippers out of a material set that's very common to the world, but, very, but not very common to the world of robotic automation, and kind of you know, delivering that, that high volume manufacturing to these grippers to make very simple, simple, low cost grippers. What we're doing in our core competency is understanding how to make these pneumatic bladders. And so what we do is we embed the sorts of motions, in this case it's bend, but it could be bend, twist, extend, into, we embed that functionality into the material selection itself and um, you know, the geometries that we create them out of. And so that, as a result, in this case, you do a little bit of inflation and it can just apply pressure to a surface quite simply without any sort of closed loop control. So I just say, you know, arm bring gripper to a particular XYZ position and then inflate and it acquires object without actual knowledge of the fact that it grabbed the object. No force sensors, no vision system is needed. You know, we can incorporate those solutions, but what we're trying to show here is that we don't necessarily have to. And what that means for you as the end customer of our solution is you're spending less money on other things like sensor systems. The issue is, is that where automation has been very, very successful is in places like, let's say, automotive manufacturing, where a single screw needs to go to a single point in a, in a machine. And you do that all day, every day for a year. But there are all sorts of places where you need the flexibility of a human worker, which is why then you rely on humans with human hands. You know, so if you're talking about uh, e-commerce fulfillment or you know, food processing, so on and so forth, uh, these are objects that are always going to be a varying size, weight, shape. And for those uh, types of problems, there is no conventional robotic gripping solution that readily fits that need. So these adaptive grippers are a, a, a simple way of going after that high value property.